type of food you are providing for the children and how many times in a day well so it is completely sattvic food Uh, basically people those who know about uh, samadhi yoga and the habits food habits of samadhi yoga uh, they really know what kind of food it is uh, uh, mostly people think that uh, the moment they hear about samadhi yoga we give all raw foods <laughs> yes we do give some raw foods but it is not completely raw food okay. uh, we want the children to uh, experience the taste of uh, raw foods eating healthy uh, vegetable salads and fruit juices and everything so here the sattvic food without onion garlic it is given mm-hmm. of course the, you, you know without any doubt there is no non veg or all, all these things mm-hmm. um, the masala items it is very less the okay. spices or all these things it is less uh, usually whatever we make in home same kind of food is prepared over there okay um, uh, while taking care of the nutritional values okay so morning uh, when they do the asana pranayama after that they take one kashaya or ragi malt or something milk or something and then by 8:39 they have breakfast just like regular breakfast idli upma or vada all these kind of things uh, oil items we try to reduce it because it is a summer okay. and uh, it is not good uh, during the summer as much as possible Uh, more of uh, vegetables and then the 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 food items that keep the body cool uh, those items we use and then by 11 o'clock uh, buttermilk or uh, lemon juice or some kind of juice or fruit or anything by 11 11:30 while the break is there then 1 1:30 we have lunch okay a regular lunch with one dal curry and then uh, if the children are coming from north india the roti mm. and then curd or buttermilk sambar rasam so just like what we do at home one sweet definitely there is a sweet every day with jaggery uh, this kind of thing normal thing of course occasionally we do give varieties but uh, it is not like mashala so much that we put and give because the food has to support a lot uh, for the activity that we do over there okay there, so there are restrictions uh, especially when they are doing going through some kind of meditation processes or when they are going through some activities different kind of food is given uh when they are going for physical activities we encourage them to eat a lot more and all uh, very strong food strength strength food we give when they are going to subtle processes or mental lot of, lot of intellectual understanding or different kind of food is given when they are going through meditation uh, and all these processes they are given different processes so especially when the meditation happens we introduce this raw foods so that it can support the body uh, it is not full at the same time the other food is also available child will taste taste it and see whatever the child likes they will go ahead with that by 4 4:30 we have some kind of snack okay no coffee tea absolutely okay. uh, and we and we know that like there will be few children who will be very fussy with food and you would have also seen some difficult times with children like they won't be very much cooperative especially when it comes to food and at that time what you like Uh, how it will be like the environment do you have any people like particularly uh, caretakers or any nannies for the children perfect so <laughs> this is very important question okay uh, so in the previous question they eat their dinner by 7 7:30 when it comes to this food eating and all the habits especially uh, there are children uh, who don't eat or who have never eaten curd yes so they are hesitant about it or there are children who don't drink milk or there are children who don't want to eat the beetroot looking at the color itself they are very much uh, they have lot of resistance towards that there will be children too who have yeah. complaints with all type of food all type all types of food yes. so here we have a very nice beautiful system first of all okay no child should waste any food this is the first thing that we prepare the child with uh, some we bring actually one person to the camp about to explain the importance of food okay. those who have been feeding uh, you know maleshwar rao you know uh, he is uh, he is a great uh, food uh, donor or you know he works in the food okay. so we bring him and make him explain what is the importance of food he actually serves about 2 to 3000 meals in the city every day uh, okay. wherever the leftover food is there he collects from that place hotels functions everything and he serves okay so we make the ch- uh, the children experience what kind of serv- uh, service he is doing and the importance of food and everything wastage and everything so children children will get commit to uh, not wasting food first of all that is first important thing then 
one more uh, important training part everybody should take everything okay so whatever the item is created everybody should take everything so first of all whatever the resistance is there towards that have you ever tasted this yes or no logically no you have never tasted right then why the resistance so first you take little just you know very pinch of it just take it and see how does it taste or you just close your eyes and then put that in your mouth and see or we say sometimes so all of you are going to close your eyes we are giving laddu in your hand so we put the beetroot laddu or something and nobody will open their eyes and they will eat so then eat how is it it is extraordinary or it is really great fantastic very taste they will say then we will ask okay what is that item many children they will not be able to say what it is mm, at the end actually it is a beetroot and many have resistance about the beetroot looking at the color okay so once they get the experience of the taste and the how it is and then we even when it comes to curd and buttermilk too okay there are children who never never touched the curd they started eating uh, they will make the habit so all these things are taken care very well uh, definitely we uh, we have people who will monitor everybody uh, on uh, uh, the food part okay so of course the other side uh, you know uh, parents may worry about uh, reducing weight yes uh, this is simple very very simple logical thing that there they are continuously playing jumping doing this doing that yoga a lot so naturally uh, the body becomes more fit so whatever the other you know previously the cholesterol this that the, how strong they are we have to check yes that is important it is not about having lot of uh, fat in the uh, <laughs> thing um, so uh, food is taken care it is uh, prepared by uh, mostly our volunteers okay. with lot of love and affection uh, we all want to see that children eat very well very nice and they get the benefit of healthy eating okay and the importance of uh, raw food is given okay. that understanding is given what kind of food is uh, healthy what kind of uh, food actually sucks the energy from you takes away the energy that you have within you okay. and what kind of food actually gives you more energy and there are some foods neutral foods that they don't give or take energy from the body okay. so once they understand they start implementing and actually children learn very fast yes. than adults